Hello and welcome to Wonderland. Tonight we have a very special event. We're going to Hogwarts after dark for dinner. It's at the Warner Brothers Studio in North London. Come along and join us. You're invited to a seriously spooky Halloween feast at the studio tours as Hogwarts After Dark returns. Trick or treat yourself to a bewitching two course meal amongst the popular interior sets of the studio tour, including the potions classroom and Dumbledore's office, followed by dessert in the Forbidden Forest. The lights will be dimmed and music more foreboding as the studio tour will be patrolled by Death Eaters. Are you ready to delve into the darkness of the Wizarding World? I think I am. I'm ready for it. We'll see you when we're there. Bye. So we're due to check in by 6.30 and it's 6.14 right now, so perfect timing. We'll be picking up our tickets and going in. Beautiful evening now and we did it. Oh, love it. Oh, I think we're much better off we didn't take the shuttle. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Uber it is. Uber drive. So we're here for Hogwarts After Dark. We're just about ready to go check in. So here we are at the Warner Brothers Studios. Let's go and see and get, get our tickets. Get our tickets. Woohoo! <laughs> you can see my dress. It's a Patronus dress. Here we go. enough to come for Valentine's Day this year and they had individual tables but this time we're gonna be in a table with lots of people but this is for Halloween time so we made it to Hogwarts after dark we're gonna be picking up our tickets right now and uh, yeah Looking forward to tonight. What do you think, honey? It's going to be a good time. Yay! Yeah. It's, it's nice when you know the place, but being around it at different times, different decorations, when it's all set out differently. Last time we went in the Great Hall, it was Valentine's candles Day. hanging down. It was absolutely just like the film. Whereas uh, I think this time it's going to be a bit different with pumpkins and so on. Yeah. So who are you representing tonight? Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. I'm a Hufflepuff. Hi. <laughs> so we just got our tickets and we got our vouchers. We have one cocktail or mocktail, one digital green screen, and a butterbeer or butterbeer ice cream taster. And we got a beautiful commemorative ticket for Hogwarts After Dark. And here we are, 
Dragon! Dragon! Big dragon! Ah. Isn't it just magical in here? We can go into the holding pen right now. Oh, yeah. Hello, yes. Lovely, too. Lovely. Thank would you. you. Like to do a I would, well? please. Thank you. Thank you. Just received a passport. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. Vodka martini with activated charcoal. <laughs> nice and spooky drink with charcoal in it. Ooh, very nice. I'm going to give this to you. Cheers. has a little dry ice sphere. than Tiny Dudley. Uh, it's a hot set, which means that all of the walls and the stairs will be taken away, so we get all the correct camera angles that we need. So keep on heading through, guys, but keep your eyes peeled for a photo of Daniel Radcliffe on this exact set with all of the walls apart, and you'll see what I mean by a hot set. Have a fantastic time today, guys. Thank you so much.
the house. Give me a big cheer if you're a Hufflepuff. Fantastic. This is our house ghost here, the Fat Friar, who can first be seen coming up through the floor in the welcome feast, holding his goblet above his head. From there, we're going to move over to our Raven Claws. Give me a cheer if you're a Raven Claw. Now, of course, unfortunately, they have to become a ghost somehow, and then we move over to the ghost who may throw a hell of a Raven Claw into one. And that is the Bloody Baron over here, the house ha ghost of Slytherin. If you're a Slytherin, give me a cheer. This is where we'll tour every student exit through those doors. Look, of course, I'm joking. You can see the bunny baron here again. We see him for the first time in that welcome feast, swooping over the Slytherin table, swinging his cutlass as he does so. And finally, we come to the house of our heroes, Gryffindor. Can you give me a cheer if you're in Gryffindor? The golden snitch! He's right there! <laughs> Yay! Oh, I hate to leave this beautiful. So we are table number nine. Let's go try to find where we're staying. I see one and two and three, 16. As we wander our way through, we're by the Slytherin common room. I see number nine. <laughs> Excuse me. And over here we see the Gryffindor common room. Ooh. And here we are. And we have a wand and everything. Look at this. How beautiful. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. So we're sitting down now at our table. Lovely place sitting. Oh, it's just beautiful here. How gorgeous. So we're at a table with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. And there's Dumbledore's office entrance right there. Could I trouble either of you two for some red wine? Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh -huh. And we have Boy, the Slytherin common room right here. Thank <laughs> you.
So our first course is some smoked salmon. It looks absolutely lovely. And the vegetarian offering is a soup. Just over there. So I just finished my starter. It was smoked salmon and it was charcoal cured. It was really delicious, really nice. So we've sat down, there's wine on the table and water. There's red and white wine. And we're just getting to know all of our table mates and it's, it's really nice so far. It's really busy, everybody seems to know what they're doing, all of the waiters and stuff. We're being taken care of very quickly. So we'll look forward to our next course, which is a, let's see, I can't read it, but I'll tell you a little later. It's hard to see in the dark with a very small print, but that's okay. I'll let you know what I have. Mm, some kind of beef dish. Dallas let me loose with the camera and the microphone. So I found this area, which we knew was here, but there is no one here. Normally this is very crowded, lots of stuff going on. They do shows on this little area here. Um, but you get to see all the different areas, and these are original sets. So it's amazing when you start looking at them, they're real life size. on some of these is amazing. Yeah. 
Well, I'm missing my main meal for this. And if anyone ever asks Dallas what that means to me, she will tell you that means a lot. You came back from the la the loo, and what happened to you? Um, there are people who are not very nice around here. It looks the like they're causing mischief and mayhem. Oh, those Death Eaters, I tell ya. Thank you. The sign was called, and that's what happened. That's at the seating room. So I just received my main meal, and it looks like it's a lovely piece of beef and some fondant potatoes, and there's a truffle jus. Absolutely gorgeous. Really looking forward to this. David's already almost finished with his. How is it nice? Yeah. Good. Well, I look forward to trying mine. And there is the forbidden forest that we're going to be going in very shortly. Oh dear. So I was told we must go back very quickly because something special is going to happen. Thank you. Right. Joy, Ooh, thank you. Uh-oh, I see. I see what our secret our secret's going to be. Oh yes. Hello. Hello. Ooh, ooh, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Too much for this Hufflepuff. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, uh oh, she's following me. Oh dear, oh dear, they're still following. Oh my, I must get away. How am I going to do it? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Those naughty Hufflepuffs.
spoke very soon. How are you enjoying your evening so far? Woohoo! Okay, very good. Yeah, uh, so my name is Paul Harris. I, as you know, I was the choreographer of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And I, along with the director, David Yates, I created and devised the physical language for using the one known as One Combat. So I understand that you have, all have wands. Is this correct? Yeah. We do. So can you, so to speak, get your wands out and move, please? I'm going to take you through like a mini version of what I did on all of the Phoenix initially and subsequently on all of the other films that have been used. And still now, I use the, uh, the same technique as used when I teach. I will probably have death eaters here in the studio. And some are here to help me. So, in true Panto style, please welcome the Death Eaters. Boo! No! One. I'll try to remember, to, if I say it, if I don't say it both ways, it's the same thing the other way around. So, right, some things that you might not know. When uh, I was approached to do this by David Yates, initially um, we had a discussion about the possibility of doing a movement for a spell. But that wasn't possible because every spell that had been written had already been seen with little or no physical action. So David was like, oh, what do we do? So I said, I remember saying, if the entirety of ballet and kung fu can come from a set of positions, then so could this. So what we came up with was a set of positions for attack and a set of positions for defense, of which I'm going to give you a mini uh, lesson in that now. So I want all the right-handers, that's everyone except for you, right? Facing, facing this way. And get... Bend your knees, get, get down a bit. Plie, bend your knees, right. I want you to bring your left one arm up, level with your shoulder, and line up your eye with your wand, which is going to come above your head in a nice clean curve above your head. So, like this, this death is, look at this death is. Bring up the curve, line up the eye, line up the arm, line up the wand. Right, we're going to jump to position three. The reason I'm doing this is because you 
don't have much room, so you, you, you can't go very far. So I'm jumping from one to three. Position three is very important. You all know what a storyboard is. Hello? Oh my gosh. Okay. This is a film studio! Right, it's a set of drawings that illustrate the action. And in my case, you have to realise that physically. So it was a very uh, important moment on the storyboard, and it was in the, in the film, in, in Order of the Phoenix. So when, and don't blame me, I didn't write it, when Sirius Black dies... Uh, no. When Sirius Black... Give me a break! <laughs> when Sirius Black dies, Harry Potter chases Bellatrix into the atrium. Remember? Yeah, yeah. He appears. Me. Who? Yes, he appears. And what happens? Harry goes... You're a real aficionado. You must be the only one in the room. Right, so ha Harry goes to attack him and Voldemort waves his arm and Harry drops the wand. This was very significant for me because this told me that the parameters for wand combat range from needing to say the name of the spell to make it work, right through to not even needing a wand. If you were significantly more powerful than the wizard you were facing, as Voldemort was at this point in the story. So, position number three. Your non-wand arm, your left arm, will come across your body to protect you. Because, for example, because you three are pretty feeble, if you're attacking this death eater, this death eater might be able to deflect your spell just with the arm. Maybe not even the wand you did. So bring it across, protect yourself. You're going to bring the, the wand arm underneath and you're going to rotate it for the what and the what? Thank you. Underneath the, the wand arm. Ready? Action! Ha! Who are you shooting at? What are you doing? <laughs> Ready? And action! Oh! oh you missed. Well, I got to do it. Okay, good. I saw that. Position five was a drawing. We're jumping to position five. Position five was a drawing on the storyboard for the character of Malfoy. And it showed this sneaky shot in the small of the back. So what I want you to do is imagine you've got theatrical robes like this, and I want you to bring your wand arm from position three around the back, into the small of the back, like you did earlier, and fire the spell from the small, uh, around, the, around your back. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. I want to try to take this back from my mouth. So bring this forward, so the arm is here. A big circle, around the back, that's it! Ha! Oh, no, bad over here, bad I'm coming down there, by the way. Oh, sorry! Sorry. Right, so high to the right, 
High to the left. Low to the right. Low to the left. Shield. Good. So, just before I come down there, let me go through one more time. Five attacking movements, three attacking movements, five defensive movements with venom. Oh, your life is at stake. Here we go. Stand by. Ready? Get down above the head. Action. Ha! Ha! Three. Ha! Five. Ha! Defense. One. I got it. I got it down. That was so much fun. I had such a great time with my wand. Oops, sorry. I have my Hufflepuff wand. Is this great? I love it. And now we're getting instructions on how to combat from the original choreographer from the Harry Potter movies. So what a wonderful opportunity this is. Position one, action! Ha! Three, five, defense one, two, three, four, five, shield! But, oh, what's this? <laughs> now, you need to come up with a little battle between you. Come up with a little battle between you.
Just a Death Eater, you know, hanging out. Oh, she's back. <laughs> Pardon me? Well, thank you. Funky. Thank you very much. All of the Patronuses. Oh my, oh my. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> I have no wand. Be kind to me. Oi! No. I'm only a lowly Hufflepuff. Oh. We're fun though. No? Oh. I'm in big trouble here. Oh, but this gentleman looks like he's going to get you. Phew. I got out of that one. Let's go to the Forbidden Forest. We can do this. I've got my lantern. Would you like a lantern as well? All right, let's go through. Follow me. Oh dear, Voldemort already. Scary Voldemort. It's daytime, and then it's night. Ooh. Oh dear, look what I see. It's that dark mark to get dark mark again. It's just everywhere. And so much fog. It's getting scary. Should we proceed? I know there might be spiders in here. Oh. I see Buckbeak though. Look at Buckbeak. Isn't he lovely? Oh. He's gorgeous. Sweet baby. Let's go in here and find some dessert. Here I go. Oh, poor thing. Oh, he's not ready. He's not ready. 
Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, dear. Oh, poor babies. They need repotting, don't they? Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I love it. Are we ready? We're ready. Are we ready? What a great night. The food was fantastic. The atmosphere was fantastic. So many Death Eaters wandering around. And boy, they're just everywhere. And we got to see two different places that we've never seen before, Privet Drive, as well as the Herbology Department with the Mandrakes. A great night at Hogwarts After Dark. Thank you so much for joining us. And make sure that you like and subscribe and take a look at the links below. You never know what you can find. See you next time when we go back to Wonderland. Bye-bye.